everybody! In today's video I'm going to show you the Quick Builder UV Gel in a bottle by Born Pretty Store and I'm going to use their peel off base coat first. I don't think I can peel it off because using forms my nails always tend to get locked into the nail UV gel so uh, it's just because I needed a base and I don't have any other Born Pretty Store base gels. I will do a review on the peel off base coat in another video by the way. So I already fully prepped the nail and now I'm applying my form and I am showing you the peel off base coat first to show you how the gel looks in the bottle. And it's really nice. It's a bit thicker than a regular gel polish or a top coat. And I personally really like that with base coats because that fills the ridges a bit. So if you have some uneven nail beds, a thicker base coat will get rid of some of the lumps and bumps you may have on your nail bed. And I'm applying it this only on the natural nail. You do not need to apply this on the form. It's just the base layer to make sure that the product you want to put on top of that really adheres to the nail bed. I am curing it for about 30 seconds in my sun UV lamp. Now we can really use the gel to sculpt our nail. This is basically a face gel in a bottle. I have it from other brands as well, not in a bottle, but we call it a face gel. Uh, so it means that you use it for the different phases or stages in your nail design. The stage face gels I have, you can use as a base, as a builder and as a top, but because it's a bit more runny, then a regular builder gel, you will need to put it on there in layers. So this product really reminds me of it, but putting it in a bottle with a brush is so smart. And what I already noticed, it's nice and thick and I first apply it on a nail bed and I think it's a bit more honey like a bit more, how to put it sticky than what I have experience with face gels. Most of them were so runny that even if you applied a very thin layer, it would run off the form. So you would have to work very fast. And I didn't like that for sculpting. But the interesting thing with this product is you can put it on there with the brush, as you can see, but it really stays there where you put it. So I think this is so fun to see. You you don't really need any skills. Just put it where you want it. The only thing that I do notice is that, of course, because I've put it on the nail bed and on the extension edge right now, uh, there is this gap in between. I will show you in a later shot. Please work in very thin layers because if you will put on too much, it will burn in the light. So it will get a bit hot when you are using an LED lamp that cures really fast. After 45 seconds already, I can hear the clicking noise I'm always looking for. So I know this layer is cured and I'm using a nail cuticle tool to see whether or not it is cured. You don't have to do this every layer. I just like to do that when I'm using a new product to see what the curing times are. Because especially when you're not using the lamp recommended by the brand, you always have to figure out the curing times to make sure. So now I'm just concentrating on the free edge area. I'm not putting anything more on the nail bed because I feel that the tip itself needs a bit more strength. And what I'm doing, I think I'm doing this not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm using it more as a gel brush. So I'm just using small blobs and apply it. Maybe if you just use it as more like a nail polish, that's what I saw in other videos. But I feel you need more layers and I think I'm lazy. There you could see the gap I was talking about in between the nail bed. So I'm using gravity, putting my finger upside down and then I'm using the brush to make sure that there is enough product there for a smooth surface. So I don't need to file or when I'm filing that you will file off the entire product because of that gap. So after curing this layer for 45 seconds, also, 
here you can see how I can easily remove the form and what the result is. And I must say, I'm so impressed. It looks very good, to be honest. Of course, I haven't filed it yet, but it looks really clear. And especially when you don't want to use regular gels and you just want to use gel polishes, but one of your nails will nail is breaking. One of your nails is breaking, then this is a great product to easily build an extension without too much fuzz. Don't mention my nail file, by the way. I have used it to remove the red gel polish, as you can see. So a bit of the red is still in the file. It's a very intense pigment let's call it like that um here you can see a bit of a lump or a bump i don't know how to put it in the surface so i didn't really put enough product over there so you always have to be careful when you file it because you don't want to file off the entire product but you do want it to be smooth so Sometimes you will need an extra layer after the filing to make sure it still has enough strength. And especially with forms, my nails and forms, well, I do love forms over tips because I find it so much easier to work with, but it's sometimes hard to find the right angle because my own nails aren't very straight and the nail bits are pretty short. So. That's sometimes a puzzle. Now I'm switching to a buffer file because the rest of the surface is very smooth and I'm afraid that I will file off too much and it's not necessary to create a nice surface. So here I'm testing the strength after two layers and oh, I'm, I'm really impressed. It doesn't really have a very thick arch, but with this length, I don't think that's necessary. So I'm cleaning it up with some cleanser to make sure all the dust is removed and you can finish it by applying some gel polish on top if you want to. I am using the 007 from H&M Nude series. I did another swatch video on these. So now I'm applying a very thin coat. And I already see I've made a mistake using the wrong nail wipes. I did a video on that as well. This so-called lint-free nail wipes from AliExpress are, surprise, surprise, not lint-free. And I make this mistake too many times. They're in this this box on my nail table very easy to grasp but every time I use them before applying gel polish my brush gets a lot of well lints and that's so annoying and always when I'm editing the video I can tell so make sure you are using the right lint-free nail wipes and they're a very good one on AliExpress as well. I will put a link in the description box, which one I really recommend. And I really have to remind myself to use those before applying any gel polish, just to make sure that my nail design doesn't get, well, ugly because of all the bumps created by the lints that are in the gel polish. Before I made this video, I already did an attempt to create a stiletto nail. Such a marvelous idea with my crooked nails, my crazy nail beds and my lack of skills to do stilettos because I never wear stilettos and I almost never do them on others. So I thought let's apply six layers of the quick builder gel. I think the bottle is almost empty now and see what comes out. So I've proven with six layers you can create this really nice crooked nail with the builder gel on a form. So yeah, not a great success. Um, and I don't think that this product is really suitable for such long designs. Then you could better use a very thick builder gel and you just sculpt a nail in two, maybe three layers. It was way too much work to create a good apex with enough strength. So the product itself is very strong. I showed you before, but if you really want to create long nails, I think builder gel on a bottle, the, the brush itself, it's, it's not really suitable for that. So if you want to do short nail designs, I can definitely recommend this. Or if you want to wear gel polish, but your own nails sometimes break, you want to, give it some more length without cutting all the other nails, you can definitely use this. And for me, I think the quality looks really good. So if I do some wear tests, I will keep you updated. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!